Minecraft is a peaceful, calming game about mining and crafting, so I decided to completely change that and make it a game where you do literally none of that. No mining, no crafting. Yes, all crafting recipes have been completely removed except for the ones required to beat the game. Blaze Rods and Eyes of Ender. And no mining. I cannot break anything. Literally. Not even the grass that grows out of the grass block. So can I beat Minecraft in a world where you are unable to mine or craft? How am I going to get to the nether? How am I going to reach the stronghold? How am I going to kill the ender dragon? Let's find out. Okay, we are now in the world. And I'm realizing how impossible this is going to be. So I obviously can't break blocks. I can't break sugarcane. But I more than likely can kill mobs. Yeah, I can kill this pig. That's good, I guess. So I did do a little bit of research before starting this to see if this was even possible because this is quite literally just a random data pack that I found on Planet Minecraft. And I'm not gonna lie, the random data packs don't have the best reputation. So to my knowledge, I don't think that I can cook this food. I mean, I could with the campfire, but I don't know if campfires spawn naturally. So we're gonna do this whole run with raw food. But the research that I'm talking about, the research that I did, I was thinking, okay, so obviously you get to another portal with a bucket, right? Like if you're not gonna use a diamond pickaxe and pick up the obsidian, then you would do the bucket method. But the bucket method, you may be thinking like, how can you even craft a bucket? Because you know, you can't craft this whole mode. It doesn't let you craft, all recipes are removed. Well, every recipe except for the blaze rod recipe and the eye of ender recipe. So like, how can you even get a bucket? Well, I did some research and buckets only spawn in Savannah villages. So I have to find a Savannah village, so good luck with that. And that's how I can get a bucket, and then with that bucket, you know, I can make the nether portal, so that'll be nice. And a decent amount of food already, that's that's pretty good. And since I literally can't mine anything, if I want stuff, like if I want wood, because that's how we're gonna light the portal, we're gonna have to place wood, because we can't make a flint steel, unless I actually find one in a chest. I'm just literally gonna have to wait till nighttime, and then creepers will spawn, and then I can get the creeper to blow up, and then give me the wood. <laughs> a lot of planning went into this. I was thinking, is this even possible and i do actually think it is i love this though just unnecessarily making the game way more difficult for myself like i do not need to be doing this but i am doing it yeah you literally cannot destroy anything that is actually crazy the hardest part will be finding a savannah biome though and because i'm playing in a world where you can't mine or craft i'm gonna go ahead and turn my keep inventory to true i just think it's fair i'm giving myself a huge disadvantage here if i die i may as well keep my stuff i'm not that much of a masochist where i just want to torture myself even more than i already am and i'm already running low on hunger so i don't think you can get poisoned with raw food right that hunger really sucks but it's literally the best i can do so it is what it is i know in ancient cities you can find like tools and crazy stuff like that but i don't think i'm gonna find an ancient city honestly like even if i knew exactly where an ancient city was i would have to get like a hundred or two hundred creepers to get down to it like to blow up all the way down there and i just honestly do not have the patience for that right now oh god it's getting nighttime my god this is so blow up Oh, nice! Oh my god, for a second there, I didn't see any blocks. I was like, there's no way that no blocks spawn. Nice, we got our first blocks. Play the epic music. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa, this is crazy. That was kind of a waste of a creeper, honestly. So we should find a creeper and try to get it to blow up some wood. And that's a slime, god damn it. This is a question I never thought I would ask myself. Where are the creepers? But today, I'm here to ask that question. All right. Let's go, no, no, don't blow up. I swear to God, if it just blew up that wood, I'm gonna scream. I got zero wood from that. I got zero wood from that creeper blowing up. Wow, that is impressive. Wow, I have done it again. Let's not have the skeleton follow me, please. Creeper, you blow up. Blow up. I hate this game. This creeper, uh, this, uh, oh my god, I cannot stand this. The skeleton is the most annoying mob in this entire game. How am I ever- ah! Oh my god, why the hell is this forest filled with undead warriors of the night? A creeper. No, no, no. Dude, can you blow up? This sucks. This is, this is a- Freaking nightmare, bro!
Let's go. Wood, 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 wood. I have wood. One singular piece of wood. Let's go. I don't know how he got Monster Hunter. I think a skeleton just shot at a spider and killed it. But okay, I will take it. I got a singular piece of wood. Hopefully elsewhere, I can actually... Why are there three skeletons? Okay, this is good. Wood. We need this wood to light the nether portal. Over there is a ruined portal. I'm going to try to get to that. I really don't want to aggro these skeletons. So I am literally going to swim around them like a Giga Chad. This is good. Three... Really? Right when I started talking about it, a goddamn skeleton just spawned. What the hell? And a baby zombie. Thank you guys for all spawning here where there is zero wood. And there... Is it, that's another skeleton. Okay, I have a silk touch pick. A flint and steel. Oh my god, I don't even need to light the... I hear, I hear a zombie. And blocks of gold. That's, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad, you know? That's not bad, that's not bad. Creepers! Hello, creepers. Okay, did I get wood from that? I did, I got another singular piece of wood. What the hell is happening to all my wood? I am using an ancient technique against these creepers. You basically just put a block at your feet because, yeah, if your feet are protected then some reason, like by some miracle, you just don't take that much damage from creeper explosions. A lot of y'all make fun of me in the video saying I know nothing about this game, but I'm here to prove you wrong with this video. I just realized I have no idea why I'm still doing this. I have the flint steel. I literally do not need wood anymore. Now at this point, I just need to find, oh, but it is fun. It is fun to try to get wood. Nice, we have five now, for literally no reason, because crafting doesn't even work. Okay, now to get to the nether, and this may be difficult, but to get to the nether, I need to find a bucket in a savannah village chest. Okay, there's a village over there. I don't think that buckets can spawn in regular plains villages, but hopefully I'm wrong, because God, I don't think I'd be able to find a savannah in the next hour. Okay, well that's not a bucket. I will take it though. Oh, this can be interesting. I can go ahead and get a horse right off. <laughs> that That's uh, you know, that's something that I didn't expect I would actually get. Come on horse, please! I'm gonna name him Sheldon. Come on Sheldon, please! I've been standing on you forever. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why are you keep- Bruh, please. Just, just let me ride- Oh my god. Sheldon, you're being really difficult right now. Thank you. Alright, we have a noble steed. You've got to be fucking kidding me. All right, well, uh, Sheldon, I'm going to have to let you go because there is literally nothing that I could do. That is crazy. Blacksmith? Oh. I mean, it's food, so food is good, but yeah. It doesn't look like I'm getting a bucket from here. Well, that was a major L. Hopefully, I can actually find a savannah village now. The only thing keeping me from entering the nether is a savannah village, which is crazy to think about. I wonder if that phrase has ever been uttered before in the entire history of the world. Okay, if I... Wait! Oh my god, this is... Okay, okay. Let's not go... Let's not get too crazy here. Let's not get too crazy. I've just been wandering around for literally the last hour. Lava pit, this is a savannah biome. So surely... There's a savannah village close by, and an ocean. This could be perfect. And... Wow. There's the lava. There's a village. If this has a bucket, I am going to go crazy mode. I am going to go actually crazy mode. Nice! Get out of your bed! Alright, and in your chest right next to your bed... God damn it. This is a big village. A lot of places to put a bucket. Bucket! God dang it, stone bricks, what? On to the next savannah village. Wait, there's one right there. Oh my god, there actually is one right there. Let's go. Dude, that, okay, this is great. I probably cut this out of the video, but there's, that's the village I just came from. There's one right here. This would be perfect if there was a bucket in one of these, man. I just need to get WRNG. Damn it. Oh my god. Ah, oh, not here either. Ah. Uh... Bro. Alright, well I ran through every chest in this entire village and yet again, no bucket. So on to the third one. Oh no way. I have never seen this before. The new wolves! Wow, this wolf is, is, it's actually not that bad looking. I was gonna say it's ugly, but I actually kinda like it. And they just spawn in a pack of like 50 billion? Huh. I guess you learn something new every day. Unfortunately, I don't have any bones on me, so I can't, uh, you know, get a companion. But they'll be in my prayers alongside me finding a savannah village with a bucket in it. Ooh, another ruined portal. 
That is a really goofy ruined portal spawn. Come on, come on! Ah! Okay, I made it. That that scared me just a little bit. Oh, this was a complete waste of time. Uh, the chest is like in the mountain or something, so I can't even see what's in it. Cool. Alright, well time to go back to the savannah biome. Third village, I honestly just don't have any high hopes for this at all. Please! Please have a bucket in here, please! Uh, I'm going to sleep. Are you the winner? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, great. Well, at least I have a bucket now. Oh, this is great. I'm going to get to the nether in a world where I can't mine or craft. This is the biggest W of all time. What's it? What's in this chest? I'm curious. Food. Hey, I'll take it. Get out of the way, buddy. Get out of the way. Nice. Thank you, Iron Golem. All right, there's water. I just need to find lava now. I just need to find lava and we're home. Wait, I just realized something. You can use the water to get rid of that and get uh, seeds, which is completely pointless and actually does literally nothing. Wait, I realized something else cooler than that. I can use the water to push the sheep off the edge and murder it. Goodbye, sheep! Just separate it from its herd. Alright, well now he's gonna drown down there in that massive lake. What the hell? You're not a sheep. As I sit here and murder these cows, I'm wondering how am I actually going to beat the end dragon? The ender dragon? I mean, obviously, you know, I can punch it with my hand. That's just gonna take so long, though. I'm thinking of, like, a faster way to do it. The crystals are gonna be a huge problem, too. I'm thinking for that, because I don't think I'd be able to get that many arrows. I mean, I can easily get a bow from just killing a skeleton, right? But to get a lot of arrows, it would be pretty hard. Unless I looted a bastion, I guess. That would make it a bit easier. But I was thinking to just use snowballs for the end crystals. Also, I don't know if I said this earlier, the reason I'm running around right now, I'm trying to find a lava pit. Oh, oh dang it, that's not lava. <gasps> there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. This is, this is it. I'm actually getting to the nether. Can you believe I've gotten all of these items? I actually cannot believe this. I have gotten all of these items without mining or crafting anything. That is really crazy. Like at the beginning of this challenge, I didn't think it was possible. And then after I did some research, I was like, okay, technically it's possible. You know, I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll try this little challenge. But I can't believe sitting here now, we're actually going to make the freaking nether portal. One tiny little mess up and it's over. I have to do this perfectly. Okay. All right, so I think I can do this. And then that. And then I can break that. Wait. I can't break anything. Okay, this unfortunately changes a lot. But even though I can't break, I can build. And I can place my... Oh, I just had a heart attack. I can place my water there. We're gonna place a thing of lava here. Burn that, nice. Another thing of lava here. And now, this will turn it into obsidian. Perfect, this is great. Okay, so that's the base of the portal. We need lava, uh, we need uh, obsidian going up three. Oh, this is so hard. And it's turning nighttime, god dang it. Okay, lava here, lava here. Perfect, perfect, this is looking good. And then if I just do that, and that, there we go. We have now the top part of the portal. Okay, I can do this. Again, lava there, lava there, up one on each side. This is really scary because if I mess it up, then the stuff in the middle turns the cobblestone. So I have to place and unplace really quickly. Okay, that should be two up, this is great. This is actually great. I'm going to do this. Okay, and that's three, three. Okay, so now the obsidian goes up three. What's up, man? So now we just need to work on turning these two into cobble, which I think is gonna be probably the easiest part. Oh, zombies, please, why are there so many of you? I'm literally just trying to make my little portal here. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's one there. The one there. They're burning. That's good. That's good. Now I believe I literally just need to get my water. Please don't. Please don't sell. Okay. No. Oh, no. Okay. So that is now that. 
And then I believe I can just do this. Okay. There we go. That is the portal outline. But now another problem arises, and the problem can easily be fixed by just having a creeper blow up. Because the problem is now I can't actually get to the portal. So if I just bring a creeper over here to blow up the blocks that I placed, and this should be relatively easy to do. I don't know how fast zombies are in comparison to a creeper. Okay, close enough, close enough, close enough, not quite. Ah, uh, one singular block is preventing me from entering the nether. This is actually so crazy. Okay, 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 this should do it, this should do it, this should do it, this should do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I did it. Oh, I can't even believe this. No mining, no crafting, this world does not allow you to break anything, this world does not allow you to craft anything, I can't make, I can't, I literally cannot make anything. I can't even turn these into golden ingots, you cannot craft anything. Except for obviously stuff to beat the game, which would be blaze powder and eyes of ender. But I did it. I actually did it. What does my nether look like?